Hello guys and welcome again. In this lecture, we will see how to use average Gaussian, median, and bilateral blurring to remove noise from images, and how to put some noise on an image, and how to use these techniques to remove these noise. So first, let's start by creating a Python file. I will call it smoothing. Dot py. Then I will import cv2 and numpy as np. We will see many types of uh, smoothing. So first one is the average, average blurring and the Gaussian blurring, the median and bilateral blurring also. First let's read an image here. So I will call it image cv2.imread. I will read an image here from data. It's called Einstein and I will read it as grayscale image. And let's show this image here. CV2 put in show original image and give it here and say CV2 dot in show uh, weight key I mean zero. Let's run this code here Python smoothing dot pi and as you can see this is the original image of Einstein like that. First, let's start by average blurring. So I will call this blur, just blur, and it will take cv2 dots blur like that, give it the image and the kernel size. I will give it five and five. And this is the blurred image. We can show it here also. cv2 dot in show. This is average and call the image here and we can show it like that so as you can see here that this image is blurred if we make it bigger this is the original image and this is the blurred image so as you can see this now have some noises and the edges are many edges are now uh, removed from this image here Let's say the other type of blurring, which is a Gaussian. So Gaussian. And this CV2 dots. Gaussian blur. Giving it the image. Like that. And a kernel size. I will give it also 5 and 5. And sigma x here, if I give it as 0. It will be the sigma x zero and also the sigma y zero. And if I come here and show this image too, cv2 dot in show Gaussian and call the image like that Gaussian image. You can see it here with the average pulling or blurring and also the original image. If I make them bigger a little bit. Make this two a little bit bigger, and also this one. So as you can see, it is blurred here. We can change this kernel size to have this image more blurred. So give it a node number here, like seven, for example, or three, and also the same here, and see the effects like that. So now it should be more blurred than the last time and the other type of blurring is the median blurring so I call the image as median it will be cv2 dot median blur giving it the image and we can give it kernel size as a number so for example if I give it 7 or 5 
I will give it 7 to be the same as the ones here and now we can show it here cb 2 dot in show median and show it like that so now as you can see this is a median blurring the other blurring here Gaussian and this is the images the other images that we have seen before the last type of blurring here is the bilateral blurring so if I call it like that bilateral and call cv2 dots bilateral filter the parameters here are different so we need to give it the image and the the size of the kernel and also sigma color and sigma space so let me give it at image 7 and let's give the sigma color as 75 and sigma space as 75 and if I come here and show it in show this one is bilateral with this image So this is bilateral image as you can see here. We can add some ways to the image to see the effects of these blurring techniques. So if I come here and create some noise and saying noise equals to np dot I will create a random noise from norm normal and giving it the mean as 0 and the standard deviation as 1 and we need also to give it a size so I will give it the same size as the image image size and I will reshape it to have the image dot shape and make it as type as type and p dot ui and t and here we can come and saying noisy image cv2 dot add the original image with this noise and if we apply the if we show here the noisy image cv2 dot in show noise or noisy image and call the noisy image here and if you apply this uh, blurring of this image you can see how they uh, remove noise from images noisy image and here also noisy image so let's come here around the code as you can see this is bilateral this is the median this is the Gaussian, this is the average blurring, let me make this here, this is the average blurring, this is the noisy image, and this is the original image. As you can see the median and the average, uh, so the median here remove the noise from this image very well, while the bilateral uh, it's the worst one here and also the Gaussian isn't as good as median and average blurring here but this is not always the case some images we can uh, the other for example bilateral and Gaussian can be better than the others so it depends on the application and the characteristic of each image we can apply also the smoothing on other images like for example if I apply it on uh, color images like uh, from data we have the messy image for example if I read it as VGR image and I will create the noise here and if I run the code you can see here the colored image you can see the median blurring the Gaussian blurring the average blurring and the noisy image and this is the original image so you can see here the noise as 
color image and the median here is removed the noise very well and the average is a little bit uh, is better than the Gaussian and of course the bilateral in that case so if I apply this also on another image like OpenCV logo and see it's here so this bilateral blurring this is the median blurring this is the Gaussian this is the average and the noisy image and the original image so you can see here the noise on this image in both these arcs and also in the OpenCV here you can see the how the average uh, blurring remove this noise how the Gaussian removed it and how median also removed it and the bilateral is the worst one as we still have this noise on the image